for any drawing from start to finish, you need to go through this following process. The first step would be composition. The second step is the proportion, and then would be the contour drawing. After the contour drawing, there will be local color. You're going to set the base value for those different elements. And then after that, there will be light and shadow. And after the light and shadow, the drawing is almost there. But the last step, that will be details. I'm going to use this sweet potato to show you how I would go through these steps from start to finish. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to roughly just put the object on the paper. Every time when you done the step, you want to double check. Every time you want to make sure it is going to be done it right. So I think this whole thing, I need to move it a little bit lower, maybe a little bit more to the left side. Just draw something really generic, something really simple, a little bit just simple. At this point, you want to notice the direction, the direction of their placement like this. You don't want to, because most of the people when they draw, they are normally put it horizontal. You want to keep the dynamic. That's good, right? Very simple. And then when you're thinking about that, is that the width compared to the height is proper. Right? Uh, so you can do a little measurement if you need to. Right? We are still developing this. So now what I want to do, if the overall area is, looks right, also you want to add, place the catch the shadow, it still looks okay. And then you can move on to the next level. So it is very important. Right now we are not drawing the accurate outlines at this point. We are trying to create an overall look, uh, directional and placement in the proper placement on the paper. You can also make it bigger if you want. You say you have to make up your mind right now because later you may not really want to change your mind because you already done too much and you don't want to change it, even though you know it's something wrong, right? Okay, it's very important. Every step in the process is very important. If I like this, now I'm going to change the, the big shape into smaller shape. Now what I want to do is use straight line, divide this whole, and on this side, going to in over here, curve all over here, I still use straight line. Just use straight line. Straight line will get you away from, get your attention away from to notice the smaller details. It's just the big, big, the bigger areas, the straight line, like this. So now you find, oh, approximately, it looked like this, this object. Now a little bit more details now, right? Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pay attention to the size, and this I think a little bit bigger, this portion. And coming to this side is similar size, and then going in here like that. I think this is pretty good. Now what the next thing we're gonna do since we get here, the next thing we're going to do, we are going to draw the outline. How are we going to draw the outline? We can blur that a little. Now we are prepared for the next step. I'm going to use a medium charcoal pencil. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to start from right here. Okay, one inch at a time. Good. Look at that carefully. And then keep going and relate to the, air, the portion of the line that you already drew compared with the direction. I take a look at that again and curve inch at a time. Coming down over here and coming down this way. 
I'm going to change my direction because I won't feel comfortable if I, when I'm drawing from the right to the left. Uh, I am right handy, as you know. Okay, now I'm going to continue. I'm going to move that, keep looking one inch at a time, uh, take it in, remember it, put it down on the paper and forget it and looking for the next portion. This is great. Now I'm also going to find out the area for the catch the shadow. We know the catch the shadow edge is just not hard, it's a soft edge. We're not gonna draw it too hard for the line. Okay, look at it. Look at the space between the, uh, the outline of the objects to the catch the shadow, like this. One little inch at a time. Now get a little closer, right here. Now that's just the shape of the catch the shadow. What's the next step we're gonna do? Last week we learned about local color. I also have a videos on YouTube so you can look at it. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna see that this is a darker color, not white color. So I'm going to have this whole shape. The local color is applied before we start uh, giving the consideration of light and shadow. So wine charcoal is perfect for this. Now also we're gonna fill in the areas for the catch the shadow at this time. Like this. Now this is good. Let's blend it a little. You can use a blender, you can use a finger. You can use a piece of paper to do the blending. Right, that's good. Let the color a little bit smoother. Why do we need the blending? Why do you need to blend the areas? The only, the, the only reason for that is you don't want that much texture. So you can blend it a little, right? If you want to keep the texture, you don't want to blend it. Okay, this is good. Now what's the next step we're gonna do? We are going to divide it into light side and shallow side. The light coming from this direction, so that from here, about here, going through, that is just the, this side is the shadow side, okay? This is also away from the light. And now you look at the catch the shadow, we do need to be, make it a little bit even darker, like this. So now we already separate the light side and the shadow side. Now we are going to do something inside the shadow side first, and before we go into the light side. I'm gonna use a soft, extra soft uh, charcoal pencil. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make this area, actually over here is even darker. So I'm gonna look at that, it's even darker over here, this area. So I'm gonna blend it a little in here. And take a look, and over here too, I also include some texture, but we're not uh, just looking at the, the small details. It's just making sure this area is darker than other area. We blend it a little. I think the texture is too much. Like that. That's good. Now at this point, I'm also gonna make the catch the shadow down here even darker. So what I'm saying again and again over here now is about Comparing between the dark area. We're not looking at the small details. We're looking at the value of the catch the shadow and the value of the, uh, the whole potato. And also inside the whole potato, that is just the value of the uh, shadow side. <sighs> like that. Go blend it a little, right there. Have fun with, with the blending. Like that. Okay, good. Uh, let's take a look. And inside this area also have a little reflected light coming from uh, the tabletop, right? So we notice the reflected light. 
Okay, now this is good. Let's, let's take a look at the light side. The light side over here is a little bit darker. So I'm gonna apply a little bit uh, shading on this side. But on the, this side, this is the highlight. How we can create a highlight? Now we're gonna use a little eraser. Pretty simple. It just lip up some value right here. Just lip it up. It's very simple. Now here you go. You get the highlight. Now basically, this already look like a three-dimensional object. But if we want to make it a little bit more convincing as a sweet potato, we need to add some detail to it. So this is the last step that we're gonna do. I'm gonna come back to use this extra soft charcoal pencil. We're gonna see, oh, over here I have a little bit detail over here. So you don't need to do those uh, small details at the beginning. We just do that at the end. Okay, a little bit here. There's a little mark, a little mark over here too. And have something a little bit come out, like over here, a little mark over here. Those are really easy because a lot of people, they kind of started notice all those small details uh, at the beginning. Uh, that is the wrong process. You need to take care of the big relationship because the whole drawing process is about taking care of different level of relationship. So we take care of the bigger relationship before we go into the smaller relationship, right? This is very logical. But even though, I add a little detail and over here I have a little bit darker have a little bit, and maybe have a little bit light over here, a little bit lighter, a little bit over here. You can use the eraser to take it up. Then a little reflected light at the bottom over here. But keep in mind, the reflected light is never lighter than the highlight. Okay, I'm going to be soften that and connect it in. And over here, I have a little reflected light over here too. But there's too light, soften it down. So you can keep going and going to find those details. So like say, you have a little mark over here. Next to it, it adds to a little bit lighter area because it's this indent is coming in so that the area next to it, it adds to a little bit lighter. So that make it a little bit more realistic like that. Right, and the top over here can be a little bit lighter, and but here actually this coming in a little bit, this little here, like that. Now you can make it a lot more realistic by adding a few details. Okay, so I think. The drawing is finished. If you enjoyed this lesson, please give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on notification. I will see you in my next lesson.